All right, two topics today for the Sunday conversation. One, obviously, is Gibson guitars. The second is Heritage guitars. If you haven't heard about the Heritage story, there's a link below. We'll get to that in a second. Interesting story with Gibson. They go under, they go into bankruptcy. They go into the bankruptcy where they can negotiate with creditors versus the one where the creditors take the assets and sell them off. So Gibson survives. For the most part, they'll have to make some significant changes a couple pieces of misinformation are out there. This is significantly embarrassing to the CEO. The guy that saved Gibson has now put it back into bankruptcy. I could see his point of actually trying to get into lifestyle brands and changing the way Gibson was perceived and diversifying. I can kind of get that being in the corporate world, but at the end of the day, the consumer electronics business sucks. It's been terrible for the last 20 years. It's not a business you want to be in. When's the last time you guys actually listened to music at home, not on your iPhone? Probably very few of us still do. I know if I'm going to be listening to music now, I pop my headphones in, put my noise blockers out, and I go. I don't really turn up the music anymore. So that was a terrible decision to get into that business for Gibson. They've also made some terrible guitar decisions as well. They're producing less units, and as they've done that, they've raised pricing pissed off a lot of customers quality has gone down so he put the business exactly where it was when he bought it circle of life there are some videos out there saying that the ceo is going to get this huge payout and he's done so well and it's embarrassing the guy who saved the company has now put it back into bankruptcy he negotiated to stay on for a year as a consultant which means he gets to sit in the meetings and maybe answer questions when they come up but the guys that took over control of the Gibson business, they're not going to listen to him. They don't care. He ran the company on the ground. He's just there to answer questions. He's out. So he's made his money. The guy's significantly wealthy. I know where he lives in Nashville. Great spread. He'll go into retirement and be significantly embarrassed for running that company into the ground again. I know a lot of guys in Nashville that say he was a terrible boss, terrible CEO, screaming and yelling crazy things all the time even when i met with george Grun, he'd sort of said this company was going under and that he needed to get back to the basics which hopefully they will i think gibson needs to take a run at being at the forefront of bringing new artists back get them out in front of people try and save the guitar business by finding the new and upcoming people and bring them out bring the new guitar heroes back out Find those folks that can make your brand sing again. So we'll see where Gibson goes. It'll be interesting to figure out what happens. They'd already closed the Memphis plant, so they're already trying to consolidate costs. So the retail and CPG industry, which is what I work in, is very similar to the guitar business in the fact that a lot of the big brands are struggling and you get all these little guys coming in and taking share and the big brands don't know what to do with that be interesting to see what happens with Gibson. I'll watch that. So the second story I want to tell you guys is Heritage Guitars. The interesting thing about Heritage Guitars is that they grew up in the old Gibson plant. So when Gibson moved down to Nashville, they came in, a bunch of builders stay and said, we're going to start our own company. The owner sold out. And what was interesting is he didn't sell to the employees. He sold out to another guy, another capital company or whatever. And they want to make some changes, want to relicense the brands, and they want to move into CNC's and Plex, and really get away from exactly what Heritage was. To me, Heritage was the Luthiers guitar, handmade, hand inspected. The news story comments that they threw out 300 guitars in a nine month period, which to me sounds absolutely crazy. You've got a significant problem if you're throwing out that many guitars. Guitars can be reworked, you can refinish, you can do tons of different things. So to say they threw out that much material and guitars sounds just stupid. So we'll see what happens there. I'm tempted to get in touch with some of those Heritage guys. The news story doesn't have all the facts and me being a small guy doing a lot of the hand operations same as them. I really want to hear what they thought and what was going on. So I will watch Heritage Guitars. Maybe I'll try and get in touch with some of those guys. The Gibson story has been all over the place. I know I'm a little bit late to giving you guys sort of my facts and opinions, but got to stay on the Sunday schedule. So let me know what you think about Gibson. Be curious to hear what you guys are saying. Really curious to what you guys think about Heritage Guitars since a lot of us are 
basement builders, garage builders, and we all have larger dreams of running a little bit of a guitar business at one point or doing that. So let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next video.